Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Benny Goose TV. I am Ben and today I have a duo sort of thing today. We have um, a Borough side of the video and then we also have a Gloucester Rugby side of the video which is of course, it's going to be great. Um, we're going to do our best to take you through both games that I, uh, one I saw live and one I saw the highlights of, uh, and of course they're well two of my two of my favourite sporting clubs. So first of all, we're going to start with the borough. Uh, so we on last Saturday, the fourteenth, we played uh, Bristol City at uh, home at the Riverside, and uh, the time before we played them uh, at Ashton Gate, uh, they beat us. Uh, I think it was either one 0 I think I think I think I'm not promising that, um, but yeah, Middlesbrough played Bristol City, um, and to be honest, it was a very good game, uh, and a lot of praise to Bristol City. But in my opinion now, um, the game today, or which is next week, uh, what which is today, but from last week. Yeah, we played this game last week, and then this week, which is now, this game. It all depends on their on this game, their season. Uh, if they lose, I'm pretty sure they're done um, for their promotion hopes from the playoffs, really. Um, but I know today, I think that. Um, well, I'm not too sure actually, but I think they. They have um actually I can just check for you now uh on my computer I'm pretty sure they have um one sec um but yeah anyway um I'll carry on talking whilst I'm just searching this up um I think it's a very good game um I watched the highlights of this one um just quickly adding in there they got Hull at home so that'd be tough uh, Hull are a decent team but um, anyway um, so first of all Jurek scored for um, Bristol City uh, in the 13th minute um, it was an acrobatic goal as well, it was quite a nice goal to be honest and they took an early lead um, but pretty much uh, straight after that uh, about five minutes maybe uh, Georgie Friend uh, equalised with a header uh, again off a set piece uh, but a defender scoring um, but yeah that was all that happened in that half but uh, it was a very positive half because we also came back um, but yeah uh, and just before we did end this half uh, we had a bit of a um, scary 10 minutes um, the, um, there was a collision uh, on the left hand side of the pitch uh, Patrick Bamford went um, um, over Aidan Flint um, and he had to get stretched off because he was knocked unconscious but he received 10 minutes of attention by medics on the pitch before he was carried off uh, the field receiving oxygen um, but he uh, is fine now and hopefully he's going to play today uh, against Derby at their place, so yeah, uh, that's our next game by the way. Uh, and then in the 68th minute, Danny Ayala headed in the winner to break um, the deadlock of nothing really. <laughs> nothing really happened in the first half, couple of goals, but they weren't brilliant goals. Um, but yeah, we got to fifth, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm pleased with that. Um, and we've not Bristol City. I, I've, in my opinion, their, se their season's already done, but other people still have belief. Um, and fair play to them, uh, to be honest. They're, they're a good team. They had a very good start to the season, but I think as soon as they lost to uh, Man City uh, in the EFL Cup thing, uh, they sort of lost a bit of form. But fair play to them. Uh, they played very well this season, but I think uh, Bristol City. Uh, any um, people? Oh, they're in eleventh now. But they are only four points off Millwall in sixth. Um, but yeah, Bristol City fans, very positive season for you. Um, try, I'd say keep trying. Next year, 
I think you'll have a good season. Um, hopefully we can play again and have some more good games in the future. But anyway, that was it for this game. Uh, Middlesbrough beat Bristol City 2-1. Um, so that's our championship game done. And then we have some rugby union for once. Uh, not often I do this. Uh, and guess what? It is. Uh, we got. I got two games. Okay. Um, one is a Premiership game, and um, that is uh, Gloucester Rugby um, playing. Sorry, I'm just searching this up. Um, if I can just get it for you. Uh, here we go. Gloucester Rugby versus Harlequins. Um, it's a very good game. Um, so I went to watch this at King's Home uh, on the 14th, the same day that Middlesbrough played Bristol City up in Middlesbrough. Um, and I loved it. I haven't been to rugby in ages, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I think it was really good. Um, but I was really looking forward to the game. Um, very promising for Gloucester. We've had a good season. Uh, Harlequins, not so much, but... Uh, this was a kickoff at three o'clock, and the official uh, referee was Luke Pierce, and uh, it was an attendance of thirteen thousand eight hundred ninety-two um, in King's Home. Uh, I was in the Bet Twenty One stand uh, with a few friends. Uh, um, also, my parents uh, came along. Um, I had my shirt on. Uh, the the ground, well, I'm. To be honest, all the time the sheds go in, uh, shouting, shouting, uh, loving, uh, lots of people drinking, um, having a good time. The sun was out as well, which is brilliant. And also for the young kids that love rugby, um, there were a few England players there, uh, the likes of Mike Brown, um, Jamie Roberts, who is a Welsh, uh, inter well, ex-Welsh international, Joe Marler, uh, the um, prop for England, um, Carl Sinclair, if you kind of count him as an England player, and also um, the ex-England captain, uh, Chris Robshaw also plays for um, uh, Harlequins, and of course uh, the scrum, um, oh my god, number nine, um, Danny Care, sorry, um, just having a few problems there. But anyway, I'll get into the details of what's happened uh, in this game. So we had four tries for Gloucester. Braley in the first half, which was then converted by 12 trees. Uh, he had four conversions, <laughs> by the way. Um, very good kicking game for him. Um, four tries and four conversions and three penalties as well. Um, so yeah, um, the score half time was 39. Uh, with one try and a couple of penalties um, and Harlequins were just behind us but as you come out at 13-9 there's not a lot of difference between that they had three penalties in that first half uh, all kicked by uh, Marcus Smith, uh, their fly half um, and Danny Kerr, the scrum half, wasn't really doing a lot I have to say um, but it was promising for Gloucester, very good play uh, Jake Pelledry um, doing a lot of work on the floor. Uh, Jason Woodward and Henry Trinder. And also Billy Burns um, doing a lot of running. Uh, 12 Trees helping out um, a lot as well. Uh, Woodward, Pelledry and Ackerman all played over with Ackerman coming over the line last in the last few minutes of the game to, well, I wouldn't say secure the victory. It was pretty much done by 20 probably about 20 points to 9 um, but yeah in that last 15 minutes we brought on a lot of power uh, we brought on uh, the likes of Ackerman um, who else uh, McAllister, Balmain, Savage, Freddie Clark uh, we also brought on um, Velocott and Tom Hudson um, so a lot of power um, in those replacements um, and in the last few minutes as I was just saying um, Ackerman did plough over and in that last 15 minutes we were so strong No, they weren't getting past us um, good defence from Charlie Sharples in, uh, late in the second half they should have really scored a try definitely in, uh, in late uh, they passed it across the line and it was Charlie Sharples versus two tried to shut him down and um, if the guy if 
I, I, I can't remember who it was. I'm pretty sure it was um, Alofa Alofa. Um, if he picked the ball up, uh, well, if he took uh, took it cl cleanly, um, they would have been in for a try. But uh, no tries or um, well, not a lot of points to be honest for Quinns. Uh, disappointing for them, uh, most definitely. Um, the coach. Um, we'll look into be improving on that uh, most definitely but very promising for 12 trees um, 7 kicks uh, and all points um, scored 4 tries as I said Brayley, Woodward, Pelledri and Ackerman and uh, Jake Pelledri the Italian um, although he don't really sound Italian uh, got man the match um, so yeah brilliant game for them as well um, this has been a bit of a longer video guys, but please uh, like and subscribe if you are new, and um, comment for more, um, if you like in the rugby, I'll do a bit more of the rugby. Um, but yeah, please uh, have a look at the rest of my playlist for uh, Middlesbrough. Uh, we play um, Bristol City today, and I think Gloucester have a game, uh, no sorry, we played last night. Um, they played Newcastle Falcons um, at home, there will be another video on that soon. Um, I'll probably do that tomorrow, but I have also got football tomorrow. Hope you like the vlogs as well, by the way. Uh, but yeah, keep talking to me. Uh, I will see you very soon for another one, guys. Goodbye.